What's up everybody? This is Eric from Easy Computer Suits. So I've been making a lot of tutorial videos about what the Galaxy Note 10 can do. And this is another video on the Galaxy Note 10. And it, as you can see, I got the Galaxy Note 10, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I got the Galaxy Note 9 and I got the Galaxy S10 here. But what I'm about to show you is exclusive to the Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. Now, I've, I've already showed you guys DeX on a, connecting your Galaxy Note to a PC to get DeX on your PC. Now, there's another unique feature that, uh, that the Galaxy Note 10 has, only the Galaxy Note 10, it's called Link to Windows. Now, the way this happens is you can connect your uh, phone wirelessly uh, from the device to a PC if you would like I say if you was getting work done You could connect your device to a PC and continue the work that you've done on your phone Let me show you guys how to link to Windows from your device to the PC Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready Woo! And follow me on this journey. Let's go What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So if you got a Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus, this right now, this software is exclusive to the Galaxy Note. Now, I got the Galaxy Note 9 and I got the Galaxy S10 Plus here. And this feature is not available on none of these devices. It's only exclusive to the Galaxy Note 10. And maybe Samsung will put this on the Galaxy Note 9 and the Galaxy S10. I believe it's a dope feature. Now. Uh, this goes on to talk about why would you connect your phone to a laptop when you already have laptop features again I talk about this in previous videos that if you are working on a document or working on something with your phone you can transfer it to your PC on a bigger canvas and get work done that's the purpose of it right I mean yes you could do everything on the PC but again if you are working on something as far as drawing documents or anything from your device and you want to continue doing what you're doing on a bigger canvas that's what the PC and the bigger screen is for now in order to do this, uh, you have to do some some work here. In order to link to Windows, you have to go to your computer and you have to go to the Microsoft Store. All right, you have to go to the Microsoft Store. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to record my screen so y'all guys can see this. All right, so the first thing you got to do is go to the Microsoft Store. All right, so you just go to your settings and uh, you just type in store. So when you go to the Microsoft store, uh, you have to search what's called your phone. All right. Uh, you want to search for your phone. So basically what you want to do is download the app, which is your phone. So once you download your phone app, um, it's going to be in your uh, apps selection. So what I did was I pinned it to my taskbar. So when you open this up, basically what this does, it connects your phone via wirelessly. Now, as you can see, I don't have link to windows on right now. So as you can see, link to windows is off on your Android phone. So uh, what I have to do is go to my galaxy note. I have to turn on that feature. All right. So I have to turn on that feature. I want my galaxy note and I want to turn on link to windows. And so what this is going to do is wirelessly link this device to my computer. So I'm going to hit try again. And right now it's linking my device, boom, to my PC. So as you can see, my device is linked to my PC, which is dope. Because again, if you're working on a document, if you're doing something with your S Pen, you're drawing or something like that, uh, this is a very good tool uh, to continue what you're doing on a bigger canvas. Now, as you can see on the menu over here, you could go into your device photos. All right, I could go into my device photos, which is dope. I go to my text messages, which I'm not gonna open up. I could go to my notifications and I could go to my phone screen. Now, in order for this to work, you have to be on Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, you have to be on Wi-Fi. Now, 
I try to do this like via tethering or using my 4G LTE on my phone to work with this. No, you have to be on Wi-Fi to get this done. So the device and the computer have to be on the same Wi-Fi for this to work. Now, again, some people might say this is a useless scenario, but again, if you're working on something on your phone uh, and you want a bigger canvas, this is why this is what it's for. To say if you want to watch a YouTube video, boom, here it is, right? And you can watch that YouTube video on a bigger canvas. Now, again, the sound is coming out of the phone. And we all know that the phone really, really has good loud speakers. So that's no problem with that. And as you can see, boom, I'm mirroring my phone to my PC with low latency. So if you was doing some video editing on your phone, like uh, Adobe Rush, you could do it on a bigger canvas with Bluetooth mouse and keyboard or with your mouse and, uh, with the mouse and keyboard, you could get it done. So yes, I can control my phone with my mouse and keyboards. So as you can see, I can control the whole phone straight from my computer. And as you can see, boom, there it is. So if I'm watching a Netflix movie or if I was doing some editing on my phone and I want to do it on a bigger canvas, if you don't have Adobe, uh, a high-end video editing software on your PC and you want to do it via your phone, yes, you can do that. Let's talk about distance. Now, I've actually been playing with this for a minute and I can go basically around the room and it still works as advertised. So uh, as long as it has a nice, solid internet connection, I'm good to go here. So link to PC and uh, which is really dope. I like it. Trust me. I, you know, a lot of people may not think of good case scenarios with this, but I, I believe that it does have some significant scenarios, especially if you're getting work done. If you're trying to uh, you need a bigger canvas, again, Adobe Rush, uh, if you want to use a bigger canvas to do your video editing or some photo editing and stuff like that, or if you was using the S Pen. Right. If you're using the S Pen and you need to get some work done on a bigger canvas, uh, this is nice. All right. So uh, as you can see, now I have a bigger canvas to work with right there. All right. So that's what it's for. Uh, and I think uh, it's a very unique feature. Uh, a lot of y'all guys might ask the question, is it coming to your Galaxy Note 9? I'm not sure. It's not even available on the Galaxy S10. It's only available on the Galaxy Note 10. So that's it. If you got a Galaxy Note 10, Galaxy Note 10 Plus, this is a unique feature. Now, we already know that if you plug up um, your cable here, uh, USB type C to USB and boom, you can get Dex rolling, right? So now once I do that, uh, it will, it should turn on Dex. Uh, but I think I've still linked to PC. Oh, there we go. All right. So now Dex is coming on. And so at this point, boom. Now at, I can take my phone and put it down since I got Dex rolling and I don't need my phone at this point. So uh, I got a, a full fledged Dex going on on my PC. Now I can definitely get some work done and I can play games and stuff like that on my PC. So it's two ways to mirror your phone. Uh, either connecting it wired or doing it wirelessly uh, with your PC. Now, here's the thing. Using DeX, using DeX, you do not need uh, internet connection. You can use your phone LTE connection uh, using DeX. Uh, so when I'm using DeX, I do not need a Wi-Fi connection. I can use my phone LTE, which is faster than Hotspot, to run on my PC to get work done. So there it is. I want to make this video so I can show you guys that it is another way to connect your device, your Galaxy Note 10, to your PC or laptop use it wirelessly and what's called link to windows there it is this is eric from music computer solutions leave your comments down below let me know what you think about linked to pc a link to windows uh for your galaxy note 10 and note 10 plus see you guys on the next video peace